Cooking is always about accurate measurements. Throw in some dried blueberries. And maybe a little cinnamon. Coffee's probably ready. Sit outside and have a cup of joe. So I have this uh, winch handle holder, holster. So far I haven't been using a winch handle holder. I just set this wherever, usually down here on the floor of the cockpit. So I'm trying to decide where to put this. I'd like to mount this somewhere in the cockpit. You know, I don't want it to be, the obvious place was up forward right here. I don't know. I, I was thinking that was the, the obvious place, but now that I th think about it, there's eventually, <laughs> eventually going to be a winch handle for the, the centerboard. Let's scratch that. Let's scratch that. Here I don't like because we're coming in and out of the companionway. You're tripping on it. Uh, maybe this side. That's a possibility. Um, or kind of centered in the cockpit somewhere over here. No, because I often sit right here. Steering the boat. I don't like that. It's there. It's the, if I'm coming about an attack, which I often do, so I need, nope, that's not going to work. I think that's the spot. That's pretty cool. I think that's where I'll put it. Uh, I'm not going to do it now, actually. I'm going to take Inconceivable over to Jamaica Bay and watch the Sebago sailboat race. Woohoo! Pass under the uh, Marine Parkway, Gil Hodges, or Gil Hodges Marine Parkway Bridge. 57 feet down, so we'll clear it at 39.
Do I see little tiny sails over there? I can see them in the distance. They're just to the left of the Belt Parkway Bridge over Perdigat Basin. The wind is completely, almost completely died off. And it's shifting. I've got the pole out now. I think I might have to bring the pole in because it's shifting again. Yeah, I'm probably going to anchor over here. There's the point comfort. There's Tracy, Patrick on the bow. So I made it here just in time for the race to be over. But I got to see my friends and that was pretty awesome. get there. It was so light. I didn't want to turn the motor on. I could have turned the motor on and gotten there in time to watch a few more races. I got to watch one race. I love Sebago. It's, a, it's such a good environment. Everybody's so friendly. There's a lot of people there that are, are just really good at what they do. It's a pleasure to be a, a member of that team. I'm going to have to tack here in a second. the engine running because there's a lot of boats around the bridge I should probably run the engine 